Hello and welcome to Trump at Home. My name is Gregory Scarrow. I'm the executive chef here at the beautiful Trump National Doral in Miami. And today we're going to be creating a nice dish for you that you can try at home and it's great for the tropical season and the hot weather. and something that I love to do here at the resort. Um, let's go over the ingredients and what we'll be doing today. We're going to be creating a ceviche with some local ingredients. I have some fresh coconuts, hearts of palm. We have grapefruit segments, fresh cilantro. We have baby yellow and red tomato, Maine lobster, and we have some microgreens. We're also going to add to that some fresh carrot juice, lime juice, and sriracha, which is an Asian spice sauce. We'll also be using today extra virgin olive oil and coconut milk. We start the dish off with some fresh Maine lobster. So what you want to do is take your lobster tail and cut it up into small bite-sized pieces. You want a piece that'll fit nicely on a fork or in a spoon and it'll be easy for your guests to eat while they're having a ceviche. Also to that, we're going to add our two claws. You can take the tomatoes, if they're a little big, and you can cut them into quarters. Add them to your bowl. Our yellows, our beautiful red tomatoes. We try to use as much local ingredients as possible here in Miami. We have several farms in the Homestead region, which provide us with some great local fare. Oh, one of my favorites being Paradise Farms. Okay. We have some nice cilantro leaves which have already been picked off the uh, stems. You don't want to have any stems in it. And you just want to do a light, rough chop on these. You don't want to overwork it because then it will cause the herbs to turn too dark and it will bruise them. But you want to maintain the nice bright color. Now I have some uh, grapefruit segments. These have already been taken from the grapefruit. We simply peeled them, removed the Supremes, and we're going to add them in whole to this dish, which makes for a nice citrusy flavor. Um, any of the uh, residual juice from the grapefruit, I like to pour in. That adds as a nice flavor enhancement. Um, this is hearts of palm. Uh, this is fresh hearts of palm, which you can get from a local purveyor. But as you can see, in most supermarkets, it's available in a can. I like to use the fresh because it's got a nice crunch component to it. And it makes for a nice addition to the ceviche. Now, what I have here is um, basically some carrots I took. I peeled and cleaned. I boiled them in lightly salted water, and I pureed them to create a, a fresh carrot juice. That's going to be the start of our dressing for the ceviche. So to that, we're going to add some fresh lime juice, coconut milk. This is, can be bought at any local supermarket. You'll see it'll thicken up in the refrigerator a little bit. And that's going to add some viscosity to your dish. And a little bit of sriracha in there to spice things up. And of course, I finish it with a little extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of kosher salt. And a touch of ground black pepper. And we're going to mix it up. So gently toss all your ingredients in the bowl. Uh, I like to let this marry for about 10 minutes in the refrigerator, and then we can move it to our vessel to do our serving. We're going to serve this in a coconut shell. So what I like to do is take the uh, whole claw and place it in the shell at first. And then what I do is I'll take my ceviche, and I like to spoon it into the shell. Now you can see it's, the dish is starting to come together. I like to garnish it with the claw on top. I reserved the antennas from when I cooked the uh, lobsters. So I just broke them away from the shell. Okay, some nice micro sprouts, which you can find. You can use bean sprouts if you like. And there you have it. Lobster and coconut ceviche at the Trump National Doral in beautiful Miami.